Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from, where am I coming from? Lagos, Nigeria. Did, did he hear you? Lagos, Nigeria. Well done. So today, as you can see, I have a mystery box. Uh, we'll look around. And can you guess what's inside? It doesn't tell you what the weight is. It doesn't tell you. It just shows you all these little symbols. Umbrella, do not get wet. Do not drink wine but what is inside. So today I'm going to surprise you. And yes, I know some of you have already figured it out because you guessed that this is exactly what I was going to do. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's open it up and let's surprise you. So we've opened, well, I've opened the box. Well, actually it was opened already, but I'll be seeing it the same time you're seeing it. And in the little cutout, there is a display. Now, what do you think would be this big? That has a display on it. Do you think it's a charge controller? Could it be an inverter? It says up. It says escape. It says enter and it says uh, down. So up, down, enter and escape. So what do you think it is? Well, let's open it some more. And tara, guess what it is? It is the inverter by a company called Deyi, D-E-Y, I call it Dai, but the Chinese guy chose to call it Deyi. And I'll tell you a little bit about why I'm excited about this inverter. So, you're going to go, Dr. Sola, do you ever get tired? One minute you have one inverter, next minute you have another one. So this is the hybrid inverter, it's called the Sun 5 kilowatt inverter. What is it that excites me about this inverter? Let me bring it out. I'll show you some of the features. I'll show you uh, the inverter itself, then I'll tell you some of the features that I find very attractive about them. So give me a sec and I'll bring it. So I'll remove it from the box and let me give you a quick tour. Um, and then I'll explain what I'm looking at, okay? I think this is a color display, but I'll find out when I plug it in. The sides. And then I'm um, telling you a little bit, and we'll go over this in a sec. Turn it on the side for me, please. Turn it on the side. No, no, fine. You don't need it, just. So here's the back, back of the inverter. Uh, here's our mounting bracket. So it has two screws holding it in place, and a bracket onto the heat sink. The heat sink looks like it's made of aluminium. There's a heat sink and then it also has a cooling fan. I would like to know what this tube here does. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Okay, I'm going to turn it on the other side so we see the markings on the other side. And then I'll go through the little items that I see and explain to you why I particularly like this. So here is the label on the side. It's the model SUN 5KSG01LPI. They also make for Solac and SunSync. So it's not they manufacture for multiple um, multiple people. Uh, battery voltage is 48 volts. Uh, they can go from 40 to 60 volts. Battery current 120 amps. So this can output 120 amps. That number for me is mind blowing. Um, it's a high frequency inverter that could output 120 amps. Its surge its surge rating is 10 kilowatts. So AC output standalone is 5,000 watts, which is something you don't see often enough. You can see that right here, 5,000 watts, and the surge is 10, sorry, the surge is 10 kilowatts for 10 seconds. That's not something you see a lot from high frequency inverters, but this one can do it. And the max discharge current of batteries is 120 amps. That is just a number that blows your mind. So you can charge at 120, you can surge at 10 kilowatts, and you can output continuously 5,000 watts. And then the max AC continuous pass through is 35 amps, which is pretty competitive. We have 5 kilowatts, actually a little better than the 5 kilowatt Victrons, right? 5 kilowatt Victrons is like 25 amps. Okay, so it's pretty competitive. So this is what I like. Um, it has built two dual, AC, dual MPPTs. Um, your PV input voltage is from 100 to 500. Um, we can put, we can hang a maximum of 6,500 watts in PV onto it. So I'm pretty psyched. So let me go to the next phase and then explain the items I like. 
So warning, electric shocks right there. It means I could get killed. I hope not. Um, these are held by Torx, not Allen keys. So this is different. As you can see, our Chinese manufacturers are getting more upscale, and they're using Torx keys instead of Allen keys, which is the most common. So let's take a look here at what we have. So there's an on and off switch. My other one doesn't have it. Then there is an on and off for the PV. I like that very much. Even though you have an on and off switch, once you connect the battery, you connect the grid, or you connect solar, the inverter will come on. So as you see, we have our COM1, COM3, COM, sorry, COM2 and COM3, and I believe this is COM1. No, sorry, let me rephrase that, sorry. So here is COM1, COM2, COM3. You have a generator, you have a load, and you have a grid. So this has two AC inputs, one for the gen and one for the grid, and this is our output. And then the COM, I'm sure it's not exactly communications, a bunch of other wires that, co that are coming out. Here your battery positive and your battery negative. And here is your PV1 and PV2. And here is your PV switch, turn everything off. So I'm going to open this cover so you can see what the connections that are behind these are. This RS-232 is for where we put our um, Wi-Fi dongle, our Wi-Fi modem thingy. This is where it goes and here is for your um, DC ground to ground the enclosure. So it's right there. So these are the accessories that came with it. A CT clamp, a Wi-Fi, your uh, MC4 for PV, a RJ45 cable, a battery temperature sensor cable, and then this is your mounting bolt to mount it on the wall. Pretty psyched, pretty psyched about that. Now back here, we'll see the inside. Um, well, I'm not as gifted, so this is our switch to turn the PV off and on. These are battery cables, positive and negative. Let me see if you see that. Battery, 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 where our battery cables go. Um, these are communication area. And then this is our gen generator input. Here is our load input, and here is our grid input. Oh, I like this. This has a reset switch. So if it trips, here's the research which I like that very, very much. You can see it's waterproof with the, you can see the gasket so it doesn't get wet. This is IP65, by the way. One bit that I don't mention, you see this gen, your LN and PE. That gen, you can choose to make it an output as well. So now it's input for the generator. It has a generator start function, as you can see here, is where the generator start function is. But you also elect to make this an output based on conditions. So let's say you're producing 6,000 watts in PV, your batteries are fully charged, and you're meeting certain conditions, this will start to power a load. So you could have your high motor loads, high, high horsepower loads, you put them on here, and this is what it will do. So instead of accepting gen input, it will start to output to power, it will start to power loads. So you can do that with this particular setting. So right now, I'm pretty psyched. Um, you see clearly marked your positive and negative and they used glass, plexiglass to do that. It's different. So, and I guess these are all your AC cables. It's covered with plexiglass. That's different. So I'm pretty psyched. Um, we'll be putting this through space, paces over the next day or two. Um, and I'll report back to you what I like. So, so far, quick summary. Five kilowatts, full five, five kilowatts. Um, when connected to the grid, it will, it will do 5,500. When connected to the battery, it will do 5,000. It has three state charging, uh, bulk, absorption, and float. It has a 120 amp uh, AC charger, which is big. I mean, you don't see them that big in, in something like this. And then it can uh, discharge also 120 amps, so you could pull 120 amps out of it. I like, I like, I like. Um, I'll be running through spaces. I'll be doing an update in a few days to let you know what it looks like and how it's working. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you have to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.